Welcome to the Business Presentation Revolution, your calming cup of presentation tea. Phil, is everything mm -hmm. okay? Uh, I'm just really feeling kind of nervous. I just don't think I'm properly prepared for today. Well, you're in luck because today's episode is all about calming presentation nerves. We all get them. A recording. Okay. So, right before we were talking about how to calm presentation nerves. Before we get into some solutions, let's take a stage fright diagnostics. Phil, can I ask you a few questions about how you feel? Is your heart racing? <laughs> okay. How's your voice? Is it? Can you can you try saying something? It's kind of, kind of dry. It's hard to get it's it out. A little dry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And are you are you able to focus? Can you look straight ahead for a moment? All right. Yeah. It's a little hard to keep some direct eye contact. Not I easy. see. No, I'm just I'm, I'm, I'm just too stressed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find where the issue arose. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thinking about preparing for your presentation today. Here we are. Did you, did you prepare in a four-part process and think about the ideas and creating the presentation? Mm, no. Okay. Did you rehearse? Did you try to practice a few times, maybe even five or six times? No. Nope. Okay. Did you get some sleep last night? Maybe six hours or more? Mm, no. Nope. Hmm. All right. And... Did you have coffee? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know you, Phil. Two. Okay, so here are a few common traps and things that will absolutely activate your nerves. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that, Phil? Well, absolutely, because to be honest, stage fright happens to everybody. And even if you don't get stage fright, you do get nerves. Yeah. Now, I speak in public all the time, but I do get nervous before a major presentation. We all do. It was what Mark Twain who said, the world only has two categories of speakers, the nervous and the liars. Yeah. So we all get it, right? The question is, how do we make sure it doesn't paralyze us? And how do we actually channel that nervous energy yeah. and give that energy to our audience rather than letting it paralyze us like it did me a few moments ago. Yeah, absolutely. And that's definitely a lot of where our work comes in as coaches. We, we work with people all the time to help relax and get centered, but also just learn how to prepare well. There's one other thing we didn't touch on, and this is sort of a back pocket secret weapon towards nerves. And that is the energy you're feeling that's running through your body that's coming out uh, in tremble sometimes, this is, this is fear. But on the other side of fear is excitement. So connecting to your purpose and what is actually exciting you about presenting, this can really help energize you in a positive way. And remember, this isn't your presentation. This is theirs. So get out of yourself, come back to the preparation, avoid the coffee if you can, get some good night's sleep, and prepare. Absolutely. Always focus not on what could go wrong, but think about what could go right. Imagine your audience enjoying your presentation, getting your key messages, and then achieving your objectives, because it's up to them to achieve your objectives for you. Mm. So imagine all of that happening, visualize that happening, and it helps a lot. But you know what I find mm. is actually rehearsing your presentation, knowing that that presentation is well prepared and is going to hit the target with that audience is actually more than half the battle. The rest of it is making sure that you're not putting your body in a stressful situation by having coffee, mm. which is wonderful if you want to be productive and creative, but it's not great when you're speaking because not only does it make you speak a lot faster, which actually reduces your credibility, it also dries out your throat and that it increases your stress levels. You don't want to be doing that when you're presenting. Thanks for joining the Business Presentation Revolution. We've got so much more to share with you. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel or subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and share this with your colleagues. We'd love to hear your questions and stories too. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time.